Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. Who would have thought that it would have come to this? I don't know if you heard about it, but kids in school now are having trouble reading clocks. That's right, standard analog clocks. Apparently, they don't know what these big round things are. And the two hands that are moving all around and a bunch of numbers, it's moving and it's confusing all of them. As a matter of fact, during tests, that's when the teacher is saying that they really have to replace all these analog clocks with digital clocks because kids are so used to seeing the time on their cell phone, their computers and digital clocks. And, you know, I guess you could say it's just a sign of the times. That's right. Just hands down, it's happening. And you see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, just an example of all the fun that we have here week after week as we talk about living the best digital life ever. It's America's largest show about all things digital, your most trusted source. Of course, I'm Kim Commando, your beloved digital goddess here with you once again. And you can find us on over 425 top stations from coast to coast. And of course, we're streaming in your favorite radio app. And we're streaming as a podcast, as a webcast, commercial free, all three hours, whenever you want us, over at getkim.com. And a special thank you and salute goes out to all of our listeners on the American Forces Network Radio. I just love this. 375,000 American servicemen and women in 175 countries and at 200 ships at sea. You all get the Kim Commando Show, and we love getting your notes and emails as well. And of course, you have at least a few questions about something digital I can lend a hand to. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 Once again, is the way to join us. All right, let's start this party already with five things that you need to know about tech. It's happening right now. And I want you to make sure that you're going to check your phone for some apps that deal with mental health and religion. Because let me tell you something. This is a real shocker. You would think that these would be the one apps, right, that would be protecting your privacy? Not so much. Well, first of all, I never really recommend prayer apps because if you think about it, people have been praying successfully for just thousands of years. And with our addiction to smartphones, using mental health apps is like, I don't know, like going to an AA meeting at a bar at happy hour. But that's not all. As I mentioned, these prayer and mental health apps are among the worst. That's right, the worst at protecting your privacy. And think about what these apps deal with. Very, very sensitive issues. Eating disorders, depression, anxiety, PTSD, domestic violence, suicide. Now, in this study conducted by Mozilla, you know them, they're the company behind the browser Firefox, the six worst, of worst offenders, the one with the absolute worst privacy and security. Here are their names. Prey.com, they should be ashamed of themselves. Uh, BetterHelp, Youper, Wobot, Better Stop Suicide, yeah, and talk space. We have the full list posted at commando.com. And May is National Mental Health Month, by the way. It's a good month to evaluate and reevaluate your use of these apps. Number two, what is really going on at TikTok? I read this story at the Wall Street Journal, and I couldn't believe what I read. And I thought, I just need to tell you guys and gals about it. Because the Wall Street Journal is talking about these dementia-related hashtags on TikTok that they've gotten about 3 billion views. Apparently, TikTok users are sharing videos of what life is like living with someone suffering from dementia. They say it's to raise awareness. They say it's to, to seek advice. But what about privacy? This was my whole shtick. I mean, what about the person who has Alzheimer's or a similar condition? I mean, did they agree to have their life blasted all over social media? I mean, what's going on? Now, a 54-year-old attorney by the name of Dan Salinger, he said he had a very small presence on TikTok at first. That is, until he started posting videos that focused on his 90-year-old father, Ed, who suffers from dementia. Now, the guy has 800,000 TikTok followers. He says he feels a responsibility to protect his dad's dignity while also showing the reality of daily life. I don't know. I mean, this this is a double-edged sword. I mean, I, I've been a caregiver. I don't think that my mom would have wanted those videos out on the internet for everyone to see forever. I mean, maybe this is something that we need to start thinking about putting in our caregiver plans. I mean, social media postings, yay or nay. Uh, number three, what took so long? Google, right. Did you ever hear about the term doxing? That's when someone takes private information about you that they find on the internet and then they share it with anybody that they can and everybody online. 
obviously with malicious intent. So Google, of course, tried to start cracking down on that. And they had this online forum where you could fill out certain things, give them the URL where you want the stuff removed from. And of course, they needed like a, a reason to remove this personal information from you on Google. It's like maybe it was your ID number, your bank account, your credit card number somewhere posted online for everybody to see medical records. Uh, but this past week, more options have been added to that Google form. So if you haven't Googled your phone number lately, this is a great time for you to do that because your phone number, your email address, your physical address, and if your login credentials are posted somewhere on the web, is that now Google says that they are actually going to remove it. We have a link to the form over at commando.com. But it is something to keep in mind that we're going to remove all this information from Google. But what about all those people search sites? that still have your name, your address, and your phone number and everything else under the sun. So how can you remove that information? Well, for that, you have to go to another place. And that's another list of things that you can remove over at commando.com. And so we'll take you through all of them. And it's, sometimes it's really hard to find the opt-out form. I mean, you have to dig through the terms and conditions. Maybe you have to send a fax. Yes, I actually said you have, might have to send a fax. Uh, number four on our five things that you need to know about is again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on, people, please, please stop already. It was a list that was posted this past week over at USA Today about the top passwords that CEOs use. And once again, the top of the list was one, two, three, four, five, six. Number two was, oh, I'm just ashamed to even say this, password. Uh, number three is I guess everybody thought they were getting really clever and the, the third most commonly used password by CEOs is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we're never going to guess that. I wonder if anybody has ever tried using like six, five, four, three, two, one, because that would totally mess things up. But anyway, moving on, let's talk about passwords because we're all tired of passwords, right? Well, big news out this past week that Apple, Google, and Microsoft, yes, three big tech companies, they are saying that they are actually working together to create sign-in technology that's more secure than traditional passwords, at the same time, very convenient, and it's gonna have two-factor authentication, it's gonna sign you into all your accounts, and this way, any site, any service, any browser, in an app, doesn't matter, you're gonna sign in with your smartphone the same way you unlock it, whether it's with a passcode, facial ID, or a fingerprint. So over the next year, these three, two, these three companies are going to, they say they're going to come in with these new sign-in standards. So maybe all of these passwords will be gone forever. I'm not sure. Uh, but you have Windows Edge. It's going to work with Google, Android, Chrome, Mac, iOS, as well as Safari. And true story, I went to the dentist recently and I'm sitting there. You know how you're like laying back in that chair. And the dentist looks at me and says, hey, um, just wondering, have you been flossing regularly? And I looked at him and I said, um, let me ask you a question. Have you been changing your passwords, using unique passwords for all your different logins regularly? <laughs> I don't think he's going to ask me if I've been flossing again. Uh, finally, number five, here's your chance to own a $1,500 water bottle. What? Yes. Talking about Elizabeth Holmes and that sham of a company, Theranos. Even though it dissolved in 2018, it's totally making the headlines. And if you're looking for something to watch, if you haven't seen it yet on Hulu, it's called The Dropout. It's about Elizabeth Holmes and about her partner and how she just pulled the wool over so many people's eyes, including like people like Larry Ellison. I mean, that mega billionaire founder of Oracle who just gave a billion dollars to Twitter for, with Elon Musk. I mean, yeah, she even pulled the wool over his eyes. So here's the deal with all the renewed interest in Theranos and the dropout and Elizabeth Holmes and the trial that continues comes the desire for people to own a little piece of history. That's right. You can find a few supposedly authentic Theranos items on eBay. It's all merch, of course, that they had when they were flying high. Now, listen to some of these prices. An empty folder with a Theranos logo on the front is currently listed for $50. Okay, it's just a file folder with the logo on it. A pack of five ballpoint pens with the logo sold earlier this week. How much do you think? Yeah, over $100. There's also a used fleece pullover, yuck, uh, complete with the Theranos logo stitched on one of the sleeves. It can be yours for $500 and 20 bucks to ship it out. Now, there are a couple of listings for what are supposedly authentic water bottles. One has a few scuffs, so it's only going for about 300 <laughs> 
This is probably the most money that the company ever made. Uh, the other buy it now price of $1,500. That's right, a water bottle with 20 people watching it. $1,500 for a water bottle. It's the perfect size bottle to just pour your money right down the drain. All right, still to come this hour, it's just totally loaded with all kinds of tips, tricks, and secrets. And we're going to be talking about what you lose when you actually put your phone into low power mode. And in our digital privacy tip, we're going to be talking about these hidden AirTag trackers. How do you really know that someone hasn't put one on your person, in your car, in your backpack, your jacket? And of course, we just had the best callers in the history of talk radio here on the Kim Commando Show. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 Once again, is the way to join us. And if you love all things digital, I just want to remind you about the free Kim Commando Show newsletters. My gosh, we've had them going for over 20 years now. And if you're not signed up or if you're not getting all the ones that you want, because we always add new newsletters to depending upon what people ask about, is head over to commando.com slash subscribe. That's K-O-M-A-N-D-O dot com slash subscribe. And there, there are some news letters that I think are really essential, like our morning report, our breaking news, our tips of the day, our weekend update, as well as the current. And so those are four essential newsletters, but we have many more newsletters for you to choose from. And then also there's this whole preference center right now. So if you like Windows, Mac, Android, you name it, just make sure that you update your preferences over at commando.com slash subscribe. And moments away from exactly what low power mode means for your smartphone, but how about we start this great hour, the Kim Commando Show with David in Bar Harbor, Maine. Hello there, David. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you for your call today. What's going on? Um, I, I have a security system, a SWAN system. It's okay. probably maybe eight years old, uh, eight cameras. Um, and I have it connected, so not as much for security because up here where I live, um, it's pretty safe. We don't really have any problem. But my mother-in-law lives down uh, in Maryland, okay. at 800 miles away, and she likes to keep an eye on us. <laughs> so as we go out, out in the yard or shovel snow, she loves it when I'm shoveling snow. Um, <laughs> of course, she's your mother-in-law. She Make that guy work. Make right. him get him out there. <laughs> right. right. So um, this system is starting to fail, and I'm wondering what what is a good system now? Um, how many cameras do you have? I have eight. Okay, you have eight. Um, and it's strictly just so she can check out. Do you have cameras inside, too, or just outside? No, um, just uh, outside. Okay, just outside. It's, All right. Look at the property. You know, we want, we, want, we want that secrecy in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was, I was thinking it was a little weird, just to let you know. I'm like, okay, the guy has mother-in-law, like, looking in the kitchen, seeing what they're doing all over. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, well, you, you know, the, probably the easiest cameras to use and to set up are Nest Cams, right? Uh, and. Yeah. And but and they have outdoor housings and they have some that run on batteries now for two years. You don't need to change them. Matter of fact, you know you just kind of un- you just take it out of the box and you slap it up and it's become fairly easy. Um, the problem is is that I think for your situation it may not be the best um, okay. because you can buy a system of eight cameras and it will be a lot less costly because each outdoor camera, let's just say for giggles with the casing and everything else, you know, let's say we're just roughing it. It's like 200 bucks a pop, 150 a pop or something like that. Right. Okay. So if we start yeah. adding that up, well, that's $1,600. Okay. You and I, you know, we went, we had math in school. Okay. So we don't need our phone to do that. Um, no. And so I think if we, if I can, to give you a link to uh, it's a company called Real Link. I seem to recommend them a lot here on the show. Is that she she can sign in and she can see all eight cameras at once, and then she can point and That's choose to it, see which. Yeah. One. Okay, then she can just point exactly. and choose and see yeah see which one that she wants to uh, to zoom in on, and then you could actually have it record if you wanted to on a DVR. But a system like this is about nine hundred dollars, eight or nine hundred dollars. And, you know, you don't have any recurring fees. You don't have these monthly subscriptions and good things like that. So let me do this. Um, Let me put a link over inside the Commando community. And what that means, David, is that if you go to commando.com slash community, 
is these are people that actually, you know, pay to have early access to the show and they use the message boards and things like that. And I'd love for you to become a member, but here nor there in the on the Q&A message board uh, is that's where I go ahead and I link everything that you might need in order to take a look at my recommendation. And so again, that's over inside commando.com slash community. And then I'll put a link to the real link camera over in the tech Q and A forum. And let's talk about low power mode. Okay. It's the dreaded moment. It happens when your phone's battery is almost dead. You forgot your charger. So it says, Hey, would you like us to put your phone in low power mode? And you're like, Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for that. All right. You lose a lot. For starters, if your phone is on 5G, it goes to 4G. You won't be able to check email, update your news, weather, other apps, your hey, whoever they are, Siri, Google, it doesn't work. Uh, your notes, your appointments, docs, everything aren't going to be synced up to the cloud until you're at least 80% charged back up. So what you want to do is just carry a portable battery charger with you or just charge your phone up before you leave. Stay right where you are. We have more of your phone calls and more tips coming up here on the Kim Commando Show. Hey, coming up late in the, later in this hour, some shocking new research. If you have an Amazon Echo, you don't want to miss that. And let me tell you about LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs makes it quick and easy to filter and prioritize who you'd like to interview and who you'd like to hire. You can create a free job post in minutes to reach your network and beyond. Post your job for free today at linkedin.com slash Kim. Terms and conditions apply. All right, before we go to all of your phone calls, as well as how to find out if there's a hidden tracker in your person or in your car, I get this question a lot. If you have an old computer laying around with the right free software, you can turn it into a home media server. This is really a lot of fun. And this home media server can hold all of your movies, your photos, your music, your videos. And it's really straightforward to set up. You just need the right software for the job. And for this, you're going to use server software, uh, specifically media server software, Kodi or Plex. Now, these three programs are going to categorize, organize the content store on that old computer. And then, this is great too, on your devices, you can have the apps. And the apps give you access and let you stream content directly right there from your home media server. Uh, now, let me tell you, Plex is actually easier to install than Kodi. And Plex gives you access to also 130 live TV channels, and they have 20,000 free on-demand movies. Um, Kodi has a slew of add-ons too, but remember both Kodi and Flex are free to use. So you can try one out and see which one that you like the best. All right, back to the phones we go with Ryan in Lewiston, Idaho. Hello there, Ryan. Hi, Kim. Thanks for taking my call. You got it. What's going on? How can I help you out? Well, just wondering about internet filters. Um, I've been using Kaspersky Safe Kids, and it's been really good. It's only fourteen ninety nine a year, and I've been just really happy with it. But now I'm hearing about security risks of doing business with Kaspersky. Yeah, that's a problem. So that is a problem. Your thoughts, yeah. Because, you know, see, the, the problem is, if you think about it, is that they have, I don't know, 8 million customers, Kaspersky does, and it yeah. is a Moscow-based company. Yeah. And if somebody wanted to send down some malicious content to DDoS or to spread malware, all they would have to do is just push down an update, right? An automatic yeah. update. And then they would have this army of computers that could infiltrate and do all kinds of damage. So that's why my recommendation was, as soon as this whole Ukraine-Russia war started, was to make sure that you, you don't use any type of Kaspersky software. Now, Kaspersky has come out and said, no, don't worry about us. We're in Moscow, but it doesn't mean that Vladimir Putin can tell us what to do. Okay, yeah, and, okay. Um, <laughs> Sure. I think I might believe that. Maybe. I don't. So, yeah. And so that's why you don't want to use the Kaspersky software. And, and you're right. I mean, it's fairly decent. It's only $15 a year. Uh, but I'm really glad that you called in because there's actually uh, another free alternative that you might like. Um, oh, okay. there's, a web, there's a website called OpenDNS, and they have something called Family Shield. And it works pretty much like Kaspersky. You can set up profiles and you can block things at the server level or at the router level. You can also ju just check categories. Like, I don't want any uh, adult-themed yeah. websites. I don't want any tobacco. But I will tell you that uh, when I had this on our computers, when Ian, my son, was you know growing up, is that my husband Barry came in to me and he's like, 
this crap has to stop now. And I'm like, what? He goes, I can't get to my Sakaar website. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, right, cause, yeah, because I checked tobacco. So there's so there's some like little play in there, you know, as far as actually setting it up. Um, but of course, you know, if you want to pay for it, you know, Custodio for families is actually it's going to give you a lot more features as far as being able to see parameters and set parameters and set schedules and things like that. But that's going to be 150 bucks a year. So, you know, why don't you yeah. try try the open DNS? See if that yeah. we see if that, you know, kind of fits the bill. It might. It's been around for a long time, so they've kind of worked out a lot of the issues. And it's at open DNS dot com slash family shield that's open dns dot com slash family shield ryan thank you so much for your call i'm going to go ahead and post that link over inside the q a forums and that's inside the commando community of course commando.com slash community in the q a forums all right i don't know if you saw it in the news but it was seems like it was all over about this family that went to Disney World from Tennessee and they get back to their hotel room and they're looking at their various things and maybe they were even Disney World I don't know the exact specific but the 17 year old daughter thought she was being tracked by a Google Air Tag now if you're unfamiliar with Google Air Tags they're about the size of a quarter you buy four for a hundred dollars and they are being used by uh, unfortunately by people who are trying to stalk others and Apple is coming up with some new ways to identify them but back to the family in Disneyland um, as it turns out is that the daughter was not being tracked by an air tag see the way that the air tags work is that they find the air tags like location through cellular triangulation but also by using other air tags and so so many people in Disney World were carrying around air tags that it that it was tracking her wherever where she went but here's the deal Apple will alert you if you are being tracked it'll give you a sound and you get a notification that says air tag detected near you if you have an Android it's really bad just saying is that you have to download and get this uh, program this app called tracker detect and then it detects an air tag that has been near you for a 10 minutes okay it plays the sound and then you have to keep scanning and keep scanning and keep scanning to find any possible air tags manually Apple definitely has to do a better job of that so Apple says that okay we're gonna try to make these air tags better because if you think about it they need, just need to push down some updates for this so they're gonna have more privacy warnings Okay, they're gonna put up this big thing that says, oh, you know, you can't be using this to stalk somebody. Click OK to agree. Okay, well, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, they're gonna make the alert to be uh, more specific and where the device is located near you with precision finding. That should have been there from the beginning. And then they say they're gonna update the support article on their website. Wow, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. So the bottom line here for you is that in this tip that we wrote out on the website, is that we're going to tell you how you can find the air tag what you should do if you do see one and these are step-by-step -step instructions and so if you ever need this information i just want you to know that you can find it you can trust it because it's over at commando.com and if you have anybody who's in kind of a a strained relationship a weird relationship domestic violence make sure that you share this article with them as well so that this way they know exactly what's going on if they do hear a sound or if they do see an alert or if they're on Android how they know to look for an Apple AirTag and you can find it all free for the taking over at commando.com that's k-o-m-a-n-d-o.com and once you're there there's a link at the top that says Kim's show all right still to come this hour we have more of your phone calls as well as shocking new research about Amazon echoes they're just not gonna believe this here on the Kim Commando show hey I don't know why this sort of stuff just happens it just breaks out of nowhere the toilet just runs and runs and runs you hear that sound it's like mocking you like you should know better I am in control so then you put your hand on the inside of the tank did that myself the other day and it fixes it just for a little while and then it just breaks again only I was having dinner guess over hmm, problem so I could Google a plumber okay but then we all know that when you Google scammers are just waiting for people in a bind and they need someone fast and you might find a real plumber but who knows if they're gonna do a great job so instead do what I did you just open up the Angie app and Angie takes all the hassles and frustrations out of getting the right people to do things around your house especially in a hurry 
And the plumber who came over, he was professional quick, and he charged a fair price. And he even guaranteed his work. He told me if it breaks again in the next month, he's going to come back and fix it for free. Okay, that's just not fixing things. That's fixing things the best way. I've used Angie to redo the front landscaping, put in party lights in the backyard, finding a great housekeeper. Now, previously known as Angie's List, Angie connects you with top local pros who can help with home projects big and small. And I love how Angie just saves me time and money with getting these home projects done just stress-free. You can search reviews, request quotes, book and pay for them all in a few taps. So for hundreds of those everyday jobs, Angie gives you clear upfront pricing. Whether it's power washing, appliance repairs, roofing, home cleaning, gutter cleaning, pest patrol, window cleaning, fence repair, even remodeling. Name your project, Angie's gonna step in and help you get it all done in a jiffy. Angie is a trusted home improvement source that can help. Home projects have never been so simple. So make your home an Angie home. Check out Angie.com or download the free Angie mobile app today. That's Angie.com, A-N-G-I.com, or download the free app. All right, back to the phones we go with Rosanna in Goodyear, Arizona. Hello there, Rosanna. Yes, hi. How are you? So, so does everybody just sing you that song? Rosanna, Rosanna, <laughs> do they? Yes, I've been immortalized. Yes, I have. Uh, you're like, <laughs> yes, oh, my do. gosh. If somebody, it's like when people, when I meet people for the first time, and uh, Rosanna, people say, oh, I bet you go commando. Like, I've never heard that before, you know? like Right. Okay, that was new. Right. All right, so what's well, going on? I was on? excited. Um, oh, well, thank you. Because I actually drive by your um, office there on 7th Street quite a bit. Oh, thank And I'm you. like, oh, my gosh, so thank you for taking time for me. Oh, you betcha. Um, so my, my issue is my Internet. I have Cox Communications. You know, I'm spending like 250 plus every month. Ooh, and yeah. it's frustrating. I, I just don't want to keep paying that. Um, you know, I live out, you know, in the West Valley here and, you know, in Goodyear. And it's just, um, I just need to have a better option. I don't so like throwing the, my money away. <laughs> no, nobody does. So is the 250 is that all of your TV and Internet and phone? No, is that is? no, that's my Internet. Why is it so much? That's my Internet. Um, Cox, and I do have a fax that I run because I'm a notary as well, but... Um, you, I'm sorry, you and, said you have a fax line? Oh, is that it? Yeah, I do have a fax okay. line with Cox as well. So, I mean, you know, it's not all the bells and whistles, it's a fax. Um, so, but Cox, you know, it's like, well, if I don't bundle and do all their other stuff, you know, um, it is high speed internet, but I just I don't want to pay that much money. There's got to be okay. a better alternative. Here, here's, okay, here's what you need to do. Number one, is I want you to really okay I want you to make sure that you're getting the package that you need okay and so uh -huh. the well, I'm going to send you links to do all this Rosanna but what you're going to do oh, is great. you're going to do you're going to do a speed test so let's make sure the speed that they say that they're giving you is the speed that you're getting if you're getting internet and cable you may be getting a faster package that you just don't need okay and in addition to that, when you first sign up for Cox or any other cable company, it seems like they give you all these free promos, right? Like you get a sports package, the regional package, whatever it is. And then after six months or a year, all of a sudden it's like, oh, it wasn't free anymore. And it keeps tacking on the bill, right? So right. I want you to make sure that that's not on there. Um, if you are renting your modem and renting your router, you're going to save money by buying those. And so those could be additional costs on there. Now, before you quit the cable altogether, what you do is you call Cox and you say, you know what, you find, well, actually, you, you back up. You say, you find, go to the website and find out what's the cheapest package you can get. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. th then you call them up and say, I want that package. And they'll say, well, you can't do that because you're an existing customer. Then you ask to speak to somebody in the retention department. Okay. The retention department has the ability to lower this bill for you. Okay. Okay. And and versus the rep who you just get on the front line isn't able to do that. So if you ask to speak to somebody in the retention department, then okay. it's easier to keep a customer than find a new one. And you may find that they could they're going to slash your your bill just to keep you as a current customer. Okay. And they may right. say this is going to be good for six months because you're going to say, you know what, I can't afford it. I lost my job, inflation, whatever it may be. Everything's gone up. Okay, I now right. I, I got to make a choice. So it's either going to be you or I'm going to go over to T-Mobile because they're telling me that I can get $50 a month right. for, to have my Internet through T-Mobile. So you do all that. Now, about the fax line, 
Um, you know, you can, because you're a notary, is, are you sending a lot of faxes? Right now I'm not. Um, okay. You know how things ebb and flow, and I took another position, so I'm just, you know, it's like, all right, I can do that on, you know, on okay. the side, you know, so all it's right. not like I'm doing a whole lot with it right now. Because, you know, there are free fax services. And oh, okay. That, that will give you where you can send a fax, you can receive a fax for free, you get like a certain number of faxes per month, maybe it's 10 or 15 faxes per month. So everything is done over the internet, so you don't need a quote unquote fax line. Okay, you'll get a phone oh, okay. number that somebody could send you a fax to and you could receive a fax. Um, and right. then of course, if you find yourself doing this, e-fax I think is like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks a month, something like that, uh, to have uh -huh. an account. Now the free faxes, okay, what's the catch? Okay, the catch is that when they get your fax or when you get a fax, there's an ad for something on it, maybe like Vistaprint or something, but who cares, it's free, you know, so what? Right. Um, but you do get a fax number, so that may also be a way that you could save some money um, on this Cox bill. So before we totally cut Cox or cut the cable, let's go through some of these basic procedures and these basic methods. And then maybe after the fact, you know, we'll be able to, you know, keep Cox and then you get the bill down and then we don't have to worry about, you know, changing things and email addresses and good stuff like that. So Rosanna, I'm going to put a whole bunch of tips for you over inside the Q&A forum in the Commando community. And next time you drive by, I want you to wave. Dislike the thought of your address, phone number, and your family's information being sold online? Imagine having your own private detective who scours the internet for data brokers selling your personal info. When they find it in the wrong hands, they help you take it back. McAfee Plus is just like that. A private detective helping you take control of your data and privacy. Get all-in-one protection with McAfee Plus. And learn how to protect your everything at McAfee.com slash podcast. Uh, Brian in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hello there, Brian. All right. Hi, Kim. How are you today? I'm good. What's going on? Hey, I've got, I'm looking for a talk to text uh, program. I use the talk to text for my, on my phone all the time, but I don't have one for my laptop. So I wanted to know what for, for basically emails and uh, Microsoft Word for okay. drafting some documents. So I wanted to know if there's free stuff out there. And, you know, privacy-wise, if, if they're, they're going to, you know, try and record everything I say or get everything on my computer or if I should pay for one that's got, you know, a reasonable price on it. Well, you know what? You have come to the right place. You have. What kind of laptop do you have? I have a Lenovo um, IdeaPad 340, I believe. And you're running Windows 11 or 10? Yes, Windows 11. All right, perfect. Okay, well, here's what's going to be really great, Brian. You're going to love this, is that you already have everything that you need to do talk to type. I mean, you already have it built in. Uh, Windows has speech recognition built in. All you do is you open a document, your email, anything else that you want to dictate. You hold down the Windows key and you press H, and then you're going to trigger the dictation toolbar. Then you just talk, you dictate, and when you're done, you press Windows key and H to turn it off. So you don't need to buy anything. You don't need to do anything. It's already built into Windows. And so I'll post a link for that, too, over inside the Commando community. Stay right where you are. Some shocking research about Amazon Echoes here on the Kim Commando Show. Okay, new research has found that whatever you ask Alexa is not only saved by Amazon and third-party tracking services, but, get this, it's also shared as in sold to as many as 40 different advertising partners. And these companies, they say, use your data to build a profile, your habits, so they can spoon feed you ads, and then the data can be sold to who knows who. So what you do is you go to amazon.com slash ad prefs, and then there's an option that says, do not show me interest-based ads. Once again, that's amazon.com slash ad prefs, as in advertising preferences. If you missed that address, it's over on our website. Stay right where you are. We have another jam-packed, fun-filled hour coming up here on the West Star Multimedia Network. You got me. It's Kim Commando today, and I'm here with you just the facts and tips you need to thrive in our digital world. Or, as I like to say, to live the best digital life ever. 